I assure you with great pride and confidence this will be a summer of protests like no others. Canadians standing, we will not be passive as you attempt to silence, disrobe and rape democracy and steal her crown of jewels, our rightful inheritance, paid with the blood of martyrs and soldiers throughout the centuries. Freedom, truth, justice, equality, no man our master. Canadian members of Parliament, you are to serve us in our Parliament and not the other way around. Your role is not to play God with our lives, but to serve we, the Canadian people, in loyalty, in duty, to the best interests of our cherished can Canadian glorious and free nation. That's why people come to this country, because they want what we have. They want the freedom. They want the values. They want the respect. They want the equality. We're not changing and regressing for nobody. No we've worked out democracy. We're, we've worked out our problems. We continue to. And we don't need liberals trying to regress us. And especially women, but all people. Because we're all about equality. One people, one law. Everyone is equal under the law. Our rights and our freedoms for people of all ethnicities, ethnicities, all races, as defined in our charter. All persons and genders we treat equally. I should not have to, but I will remind you that it is my Canadian right to criticize and critique all things of this world and to stand on guard for the N9. Stand on guard. 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 To stand on guard and protect democracy's torch and her light of liberty. And as necessary, rage against her opponents and hold their feet to the flint, to her flame. She nor I, nor my suffragette sisters, nor fellow patriot Canucks will be slaves under your increasingly dictatorial governance. This motion needs to be stopped immediately. There is no uh, committee that needs to assess this. It is treasonous and it is an unprecedented, obscene attempt to take, to assault our Canadian history, our, our culture, my female gender, and an indecent threat to the future of girls and women's rights, as, and as such should be constitutionally dealt with. And the perpetrators and supporters investigated for their unpatriotic alliances, chauvinistic agendas. In closing, again, let me remind you, Justin Trudeau, your liberal cabinet, liberal chauvinistic cabinet, and all members of parliament, we will not be quelled. We will not be silenced, lest we forget is not just a slogan, but a reminder to tyrannical forces what we the people will overcome. Our call of honor, with glowing hearts, we see the rise. The true north, strong and free, taking up our shields. Our, our shield is truth. Standing on guard for democracy and cherishing her rights and freedoms. Protecting equality, truth, free speech, and justice under the law. The light of liberty and her flame of truth will never, ever be extinguished. Her fire burns gloriously free and eternal in the hearts of her free people. Her justice blind, one nation, one law, under God Almighty, no man her master. Amen. Amen. Somebody read this because I think it's really important. It's, it's, it is three pages, but I think it's something uh, very disconcerting, very threatening. It's actually about um, Muslims want blasphemers, blasphemers prosecuted worldwide. So what this article, whether we do it right now or we take a break, um, have a cigarette, what everybody... Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So. Okay. I'll. 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 Um, I'll just go into the skinny of this. What this is about 
is Pakistan, which is ironically where Ikra Khalid is from, wants to persecute blasphemers, blasphemers worldwide. So they want Facebook to participate in, in uh, exposing and giving information. So it's not just they want them to take down posts, they want to know who posted that. And, and they're, they're not... So I encourage you, if, I, if we don't read this today, because it's really, uh, it, it's really quite shocking, and, and it, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't intimidate me. What it, what it makes me is more and more angry that this kind of evil is out there and somebody thinks, you know, they're, they're going to quell me from speaking about rape. They're going to quell me from, from, from speaking about pedophilia. They're going to quell me about speaking about beatings, people being set ablaze, murdered, gang rapes. They think they're going to quell me, do they? Think again. It's not happening. Give me liberty or give me death. <laughs> Democracy <laughs> is free speech. And liberals are protecting an ideology that needs to be brought out into the light of day. And it needs to be critiqued so that moderates can hope to maybe reform it. Because we have a lot of Muslims that are fighting against M103, right? We were just two weeks ago it was Muslims against M103 because they know that they've run from that. They didn't run to it. They're, they're more horrified than anyone because they know what it's like in these countries. Canadians just think, oh, I'll never be like that. Yeah, Big Brother's looking after us. That'll never happen here. You know? And these people are coming from uncivilized countries because they want civility. They want respect. They want to walk on, up and down the street with no threat. So... You know, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep spreading the news. 